good morning family good morning good morning good morning and i say good morning to my ladies my girls now first let's start off by saying that today is july 17 2012 and it is exactly 10 20 in the a.m and family this is what we're going to talk about today Today is going to be a woman-to-woman -woman segment. Um, I started this woman-to-woman -woman segment back in 2010, and I began to talk about, uh, have an open dialogue about things that, you know, my mother just didn't share with me. I began to talk about things um, in reference to our bodies that, um, you know, a lot of women just, they want to know, but they're afraid to ask. And, you know, they, you know, the bedside manner when you're talking to your gynecologist, sometimes you just don't feel open about, you know, being just frank about certain things. So, um, when I was in nursing school, um, gynecology was my strength. Uh, women's health, oh my God, I excelled in that because that was something that, that, um, intrigued me and I wanted to know so many things about it and the way in which our bodies work and all those types of things and so when I stepped upon this platform it gave me this okay to just begin to talk and to talk about certain things that I just could not talk about with my mother and um, things that I just kind of just felt a little squeamish, you know, about just discussing. And then, you know, sometimes you don't even want to feel comfortable about talking about it with your girlfriends, you know. And um, in the event that you will be ridiculed and talked about and, oh, girl, I cannot believe and all that kind of stuff. But when you come over here to my channel, there's no question off limits for auntie. Um... Unless it's just getting too personal in my personal life, but for the most part, I have no I have no breaks on what I'm willing to answer. Um, so, but what we're going to talk about today in this woman to woman segment, we're going to discuss a product that I truly stand firm by. I endorse this product. I am not employed by the company. Um, I'm not getting any royalties, paychecks coupons, uh, samples, and nothing of the kind. This is just something that I've tried and it's worked for me and it is called Refresh. Okay? This is the box here. I want to show you guys all around this box so you can see what it looks like. This is the side of it. Okay. Now, what Refresh is, ladies, it is brings balance to your pH okay now a lot of things let's start off from the beginning okay let's let's go in the beginning of AMP of a woman's body okay now every month we go through what is called a cycle and it is a cycle because you go through a series of things the beginning of the cycle which like say for instance um, let's, let's go with the calendar month of just the, you know, just starting on day one. Okay, so day one. Let's just say day one is the first day of your period, okay? Now, you're going to flow anywhere from one to seven days, and that is considered as normal, okay, for some women, okay? Now, um, say for instance, your spirit, your period starts, which is actually called menses, Okay? Or you would see the abbreviation of LMP, which is your last monthly period. Now, I am going to ask that all of my young ladies that watch this, um, I have a great deal of young ladies that watch my channel below 21. I just got informed of that. I did not know that. Um, so I'm primarily talking to you guys. But as far as the girls are in my age bracket or above my age bracket or below it, um, I'm just simply sharing some woman-to-woman -woman things in reference to our bodies. And so, you know, it can it can be useful to some of you guys. For some of you guys, hey, if this is something that you already know, you don't have to watch it. 
You know what I mean? Or you could just watch it out of entertainment purposes or just kind of gather some information that you probably lost along the way. Whichever way, whatever works for you, it's okay with me. You're welcome. Okay. So, the first day of your menses will be day one. Okay. Now, from the first to the 14th, that is when you're beginning to shed the lining of your cervix. Okay. And that, it just sloughs off. There's nothing you have to do. Uh, you release its ova, which is considered as ovum, which is an egg for fertilization, whether you want to get pregnant or sometimes it's just something that happens and that's not what you wanted to happen, but it happened anyway. Uh, during that cycle is when all those things take place. From the 1st to the 14th day, is when you're beginning all that cycle and you release an egg. Around that 14th day is when you begin to ovulate. You ovulate from the 14th to the 21st day. Okay? Now, from the 21st to the 28th day is just an open reign where you're not going to be able to get pregnant. You're not releasing no more ovum. Your bleeding has completely stopped. All those things. You're just in the clear at that point in time. You're, you're not able to get pregnant during that 21st and 28th day. And that is why um, a lot of times the 28-day cycle is um, the norm for a lot of women. There are women that have irregular periods. There's women that spot a whole lot. Um, there's different things that can make a woman, you know, spot and think it could be hormonal, it could be stress, it could be a weight issue. It could be fibroids. There could be so many different things that will make a woman, you know, just have sporadic periods or longer periods or painful periods. Now, painful period is called dysmenorrhea. Okay? That is like you're cramping and all that kind of stuff. Amenorrhea, it means you're not having a period at all. You're not having a period at all. Okay? So... If I am overwhelming you with medical terminology, it is not my point um, to do that. Um, it's just the fact that when I talk about something that I'm very passionate about, I begin to kick out medical terms and jargon that sometimes doesn't mean anything to you guys because you guys are like, it's like way over your head or some of you guys. So I'm trying to keep it low-key, standard, across the board, easy learning, that type of thing. But if I get overwhelming, just pull Caroline back to the light. Okay. So, anyway, now that we know how our periods begin to work, and even if you are considering being pregnant, I also did a video about your ovulation and how that works and how it occurs and how um, scientific it can go. Whereas, you know, if a woman is planning on having a boy or she really wants to have a girl... Um, there are certain things, there are certain numbers can come into play that can kind of affect that, if you will. Though, the bottom line is, it is our Father God that brings children into this world. They are the one. He is the one. He is our main creator, okay? But, as the years gone by, you know, they begin, you know, man begin to, you know, you know, get this down to, you know, a science on how, a woman's body and ovulation works and all those types of things. So, I'm already aware. So, I don't need anybody clicking in and chiming in and saying, Oh, well, Father God, I, I got that. I'm, I'm, I'm a true believer of Christ. I understand on how all that works. I, I have a strong belief system. So, this is not about that right now. We're just talking about strictly uh gynecological situations and more so of the vagina and let's get back on refresh period okay now i stumbled across this product when i began to have um you know feminine problems and i was like wow what's going on you know and um being a sexually active woman um i've had you know, I've had things that go wrong. In relationships, I've had, you know, I've had to take an antibiotic or two, okay? And luckily for me, you know, I've, I've been able to walk away without, you know, HIV or any of those things or syphilis and gonorrhea. I've never had anything like that. 
But, you know, chlamydia, I have had that. You know, sad to say, I'm one that have had it. I've been a victim of it, okay? And with that, um, and then there's vaginal, um, vaginosis, and then there's, there's, there's so many different ones. There's trichomonias and all kinds of different things that, that, that women can, can get. And, you know, you get it, excuse me, from a man. Um, there's times when you can simply change from surf to tide, and it can throw your pH balance off. Um, your normal flora is what it is called. The secretions inside of your vagina, because your vi vagina is simply a mucous membrane. Okay, that's basically what it is. It's an open cavity, just like your mouth, okay? And what just like you keep your mouth clean, you also need to keep your vagina clean, period. And just as you will have a mouth odor, you will also have a, a, a vagina odor, and you don't want that, okay? Now, there's plenty of times I always talk to you guys about... Um, your peppermint soap and I am still a firm believer and I use it every day just about peppermint soap however in addition to peppermint soap because sometimes let me just say if you use it too often or if you use too much you can also throw off your pH balance okay now when you are having sexual relationship relations with a man a man can throw your pH balance off as well. And let me tell you how. There are some women that are simply allergic to a man's semen. If a man performs oral sex on you, it can also throw off your pH balance by simply him eating something that's Cajun, that's high in seasoning, or something super spicy. Um, those types of things. If he have, you know, gingivitis or whatever in his mouth, he have some other things going on, then yes, it can throw off your pH balance. You really don't want that, okay? And what it will do is it will give you an odor. Sometimes it will give you some type of, type of dif discomfort, as in like itching or burning. When it begins to get to that level, I'm going to ask you to, there's an over-the-counter kit that you can buy um, that you can simply put your dipstick inside of your vagina, get a little bit of the secretions out, and you're going to put it on a strip, and based on the color of that strip, it's going to tell you whether or not you have something, you know, a little bit more, um, a little bit more, what's the word I'm trying to gather? Something, let me just say something other than a pH balance issue. Okay, and at that point, I'm going to ask that you confer with your gynecologist, your, your primary care physician, your family doctor, whoever you feel comfortable with. If, that, if you have no insurance, you can go to the health department, those types of things. On certain college campuses, they have their health services center. You can go there as well for Pap's meals at a reasonable price, birth control pills, and all kinds of different things. But at any rate, um... If you experience any type of vaginal odor or discomfort, let's just go with the odor first, okay? If you just have an odor and you don't know why, it's like, you know, I'm not really having sex that often. It's not really burning, but um, it's just something is just not right, okay? It could be your pH balance, okay? That's when this is going to correct that. This is going to fix that problem if you use the once again I was talking about the frequency of the peppermint soap I love it I simply adore it it makes me fresh as all get out and especially the front door and the back door super duper fresh okay however if you use too much now like I've told you guys before when you if, if, if you buy peppermint soap and you have to just about buy it once a month you're using too much. You have something else going on other than just a pH balance issue. I understand that you want to be fresh. I understand that you want to be clean and all those types of things. I get it. I totally understand it. However, if you're using so much of it, again, I, let me be crystal clear. If you have to use that much of it, 
there's something else going on. Or you just simply have to change your pH balance. Get more balanced. Because you should not have to use that much. Now, I understand if you done, you know, had a bowel movement and you just want to be super duper fresh, um, you know, whatever the case, that's fine. That's, that's, that's within normal limits. But if you get to the point where you have to buy, now me, hold on, let me go get mine for you right quick. Really, really quick. Hold on. Okay, sorry about that, family. Now, I this is my original bottle. It's been in my shower, so excuse it. Um, this is the 16-ounce bottle. It is still to here. I've had this bottle since 2010, okay? I've had this bottle a long time, which means, as I told you guys before, excuse me, 